Oh, it's really looking fairly dry for the next several days. We may get a few isolated storms, but in terms of any real good soaking rain moving through, unfortunately, that is not in the forecast. Air quality alerts, we still have them in place. They've expanded today a little bit south of I-70, covering northern Colorado as well, and now into El Paso County. So again, we have these three major wildfires burning in our state, and a lot of that air is moving uh, towards the front range. It's really settled into the Denver area today. I certainly noticed today was the first day I really smelled it and really could see it here in Denver. Let's check out. Uh, the stream of those fires. Again, we have uh, two of them in the western side of the state. You can see those funneling in, and now here's that one in Larimer County. You can see the satellite and radar picking that up. Isn't that pretty incredible to see just how big these are? These are from the GOES satellite. So again, you can see why that our air quality is so bad. is just funneling straight our direction. Temperatures right now, it is really hot in many areas. 100 in Pueblo and La Junta and Springfield. 88 in Denver and Boulder. 89 out in Burlington. 98 in Grand Junction with 85 in Aspen. 91 from our weather watcher, Betty in Erie for us and checking in downtown we are at 88 de degrees as well. Our Almanac 91 are high today uh, downtown 92 out at DIA so maybe not quite as hot as we thought but we're still in the 90s and I'll take a break from the upper 90s. We'll stay in those low 90s throughout the weekend. There's a little bit of rain in the southern part of the state. It's not much but at least it's something and then over uh, close to Lamar we actually have a pretty big thunderstorm that actually had a tornado warning associated with it so that's our one big storm otherwise it is fairly quiet across the state and looking at our future cast we will still get a little bit of rain in southern Colorado tonight maybe a little bit on the eastern plains overnight through early tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon there will be a chance of some isolated thunderstorms out on the eastern plains especially in that southeastern corner and because of that we do have a severe weather outlook for tomorrow that's with for storms that could bring us some larger hail damaging wind and some heavy rainfall so just be weather aware on our eastern plains tomorrow and temperatures tonight 61 in Denver 57 in Boulder and Greeley, 59 out in Burlington, 40s, 50s in the high country, and 40s to the 60s out west. And tomorrow, still warm, still in the 90s here in Denver, 93 in Denver and Fort Collins, 94 in Boulder and Greeley. Not in the triple digits or upper 90s on the eastern plains, so that is a nice uh, break from the heat out east. But we're still hot in the high country, 90 in Avon, 99 in Grand Junction. And we'll be in the low to mid 90s throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend. Maybe a few isolated storms start to pop up as we head into Sunday and uh, into Monday. But again, these are just isolated chances and the risk is fairly low. So I wish I had better news for the rain and some storms, but unfortunately, we're just hot and sunny. All right. Lauren, thank you. Up next